Welcome back to another video, miners, prospectors, and rock counters. It's always good to see each and every one of you. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see and you decide to subscribe. I'm at the crater of Diamond State Park. There's no better time to be out here than right now. Anytime after hurricane season is a good time to be here because all that rain we've been receiving has washed all the silt off, has exposed so much gravel. I've been working in the east drain which is pretty much behind me all that right there and i'm working at the beginning of the snake pit area uh, not too long ago i found two diamonds and 12 buckets and both of them were exactly the same size a 42 point which i still can't get over well, shirley strong she's a fifth generation diamond miner and she has never heard anything like that before so that was really cool that it happened i'm going to go back in that same area See if I can't get any more diamonds. My channel has reached the 10,000 subscribers and I can't thank you all enough. We're actually almost to uh, 11,500, a little over a year of having my channel. But in this video, if you are subscribed and you leave a comment, you're entered to win the eight point white diamond that I found and the link that'll pop up. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out because I'm gonna give away that diamond in this video to one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment share this out somebody's gonna own a nice eight point diamond from the crater diamond state park for supporting my channel i can't thank you all enough i never would have thought i would be where i'm at with my youtube channel i can't believe it and we're gonna keep going with it and hopefully it just keeps on going i didn't bring a whole lot of buckets this trip i have several in my truck that have uh, material in them but it looks like we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve buckets again. So I'm going to take my twelve buckets and head on down to my honey hole. This wagon is the wagon to get for the crater of diamonds. My others are the two foot by four which is around somewhere in here. So it's just a little bit wider, which I haven't had any problems with tip overs yet, like my old wagon. And the wheels are much bigger looking at wheelbarrow size. So this thing right here has been helping out a lot, making it easier for me and my wallet because I'm tired of buying those little bitty wagons that get tore up out here. We're going to be working where I found the two 42 points out of 12 buckets. And it's pretty much at the beginning of the snake pit, what I call. Because the snake pit's more that stretch. And it's in the east drain. So I kind of call this the uh, beginning of the snake pit. And yeah, that's where we're going to be working today. I'm going to get 12 buckets filled up. Somewhat of all of this stuff right here have to dig around and see what I can get. All this was covered in silt for the last three, four months. And after these hard rains, it's finally washed it off and exposed so much gravel. Unbelievable. There's been several people down here getting material. Like this is not from me. All this that's been cleaned yesterday, that was from another miner. Pulled out 20 or so buckets. Okay, let's take a look at the material I'm getting out of this drain. What I'm doing, I'm not scraping this top part where it's just lamprite mixed with gravel. What I'm doing is digging down into this clay. And in this clay, you can see all that gravel mixed in with it. It's loaded. So anytime you find clay with gravel, those diamonds get trapped in that as long as the clay has gravel in it it's just a big chunk of clay probably going to be pointless to work it and some of my shovels that I pull out of this area that I'm working is loaded with a lot more gravel so that's what you got to do you got to keep digging and try to locate the gravel in the clay and you will get diamonds every day Yep. 
still gravel. Now that right there was really smushy, so it may not. But I'm gonna get it anyways. It's been almost four months since anybody's really have gone down this deep because it's been covered with about a foot of silt. Oh, this is pretty cool to be here with all this gravel. I have all the buckets filled up with some pretty decent material. A lot of clay with gravel. Almost like digging a hole. You see that tree island? That used to be dirt and rocks and gravel all the way level, if not elevated a little bit throughout the field. That's how much material is gone. Yeah, from people mining it and you know washing all the rocks up in the woods. There's tailing piles. People take buckets home every day, year after year. This has been going on for, you know, there used to be a east drain over here. And then they cut it that was the natural drain over in there and then they ripped it kind of more i think like over in here and now today the east drain is over here so the east drain that we see today has not always ran this same course so for 50 years material has been going out into the woods all right there's so many diamonds out there Great, we got all the 12 buckets hauled up. Now it's time to get them washed. Hey, where's my wash station? It's supposed to be set up. All right, that's more like it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Got 12 buckets to wash. We've got several hours. We should have plenty of time to get everything centered up and pick out the diamonds. Here we go. Give that bucket a good slap, the diamond won't be in there. Chunk of Jasper. There's the lamp right, the host which you probably won't find a diamond in that stuff. You're wasting your time if you're working lamp right and money. Yeah, your three carrots are probably gonna be up here. Two nineties maybe. 
Okay, not seeing anything. It'll definitely stand out. When you're working your bottom classifier, it's really good to raise it up out of the water. Try to bounce it. You can bounce the material. It's really getting it clean faster. Give it another good side to side a few times and it's ready. That's the advantage of having three classifiers. This one here is the breakdown. You know, it's half inch. It helps slice the clay up. And then the next screen helps slice the clay up. Therefore, less clay on your bottom screen to work. If you just have two less mud on your classifier to work, if you have uh, just two classifiers, you dump all that material on your top screen, then onto your bottom, you're just sitting there working for a while. This is ready. Yeah, it's clean. You bounce it like that, the diamond breaks free from everything. Ready to dump in the tub. All right, I got two more to go. Bringing y'all in for this top screen, we got a really cool piece of agate. I mean, I guess it's cool. It's kind of different. A little burn up, I would say. But you can really see some clear coming out of that. So you could cut this and who knows, it may turn out nice. This rock's really cool. It's got the quartz line going through it. See how it like, just grew off of that or just a cool looking rock. That is definitely a heart-shaped rock. I have a collection of these, as a matter of fact. This will probably be number 20. I got all 12 buckets washed before 1 o'clock. I'm going to take me a quick safety meeting, take a break, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll get the Saruka out, start making centers and start seeing some diamonds i believe since the moon was conjunction with saturn and jupiter is why the diamonds have been coming to me okay well i was just informed by that crater diamond staff member he come down here and told me that we can no longer have our water hose stretched across to our wash tanks we now have to fill up our tubs and roll up our hose and keep them over here so just letting all you other people know that set up equipment you can no longer have your water hose by your wash tub you have to fill up your tub and then roll it up and put it over here oh this place gets so much fun every time i come here it's just so much fun Six years been doing this. Here are the first four. Always start at this end. Letting them dry. Don't really see anything, just right off the bat. Huge chunk of barite right there. A lot of good indicators.
down to one flip and nothing so far. Let this dry some more, but yeah, we got one more to go and not seeing a diamond. Check out that lead ball. That thing's just a little tiny, like a BB. Yeah, let them dry some more. Go back over them. That's the best thing to do, let them fully dry. Okay, well that's a day here at the Crater of Diamonds. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see a diamond on the center, but that's the way it goes. Not every day we get them, but you never know. All right, don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and you'll be entered to win the eight point uncut white Arkansas diamond. And I can't thank you all enough and good luck everybody. Until next time, take care. This is the only diamond that I have found that I was able to just pick up out of all the little rocks. Noticed it, as you see, if you go back to my video where I found it, you'll notice it was just laying in the bottom of the screen. And I, and that's how I got this little diamond. I think it was out of 18, it was out of 18 buckets. And I'm gonna give this diamond away 